Hi, I'm Isaac Orr, and I research the intersection of public policy, geology, and economics for the Heartland Institute. Horizontal hydraulic fracturing, commonly referred to as fracking, is a safe method of producing oil and natural gas that has gained a lot of media attention in recent years. In this part of our video series, I'll look at some of the benefits of fracking for oil and natural gas. One major benefit is lower energy costs. Tapping into large domestic oil and natural gas deposits has led to a big increase in available resources and a big decrease in prices, which means substantial savings for consumers. According to the Energy Information Administration, the average U.S. household is expected to save about $675 on gasoline in 2015 compared to 2014 due to lower oil prices. Another study by the Brookings Institution found low natural gas prices will save families up to $432 per person depending on where they live. For low-income families, that's a huge deal and it's only possible because fracking has made the United States the world's largest producer of oil and natural gas. Imagine a single mother with two children living in Detroit. She'll save $777 on natural gas alone. And when you add in her savings at the pump, she could potentially save nearly $1,500. In Mississippi, the U.S. state with the highest poverty rate, a family of four would save more than $1,600, and that's all because of fracking. Fracking is also one of the fastest growing sectors of the economy and one of the biggest creators of new jobs. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, mining and oil and natural gas extracting jobs grew by nearly 25% between 2007 and 2014. There are about 1.8 million direct, indirect, and induced jobs supported by hydraulic fracturing today, and these numbers are projected to grow to 3 million jobs by 2020. And then there's the benefit of energy security. Domestic oil production has increased by 80% since 2007, and imports accounted for just 27% of the petroleum consumed in the United States, which is the lowest level since 1985. That reduces our reliance on foreign oil and the inconsistent prices and policies and political regimes that come with it. The bottom line is, fracking has economic benefits for everybody and political benefits that make us stronger as a nation. This is Isaac Orr for the Heartland Institute.